Well, the federal government has been urged to address the housing needs in the country amidst the housing deficit. The remark came at a two day capacity building workshop by the real estate developers. Our eyes news correspondent Godfrey Shamage has more. The basic necessities of life, housing is one of the three key human needs. But the harsh reality is that Nigeria has an estimated 28 million housing deficit as of 2023 indicating that the country needs at least 28 million housing units to provide adequately for the ever-growing population. An estimated sum of 21 trillion naira is required to provide housing units to fill the deficit. This capacity building workshop, therefore, is one to afford those in the real estate sector opportunity to explore how best to assist the government address the challenge of the shortage of quality and affordable houses for Nigerians. Among the sub-themes of the workshop is the urgent need for social or subsidized housing as well as the greater involvement of the private sector as one sure way of addressing Nigeria's worsening housing problem. The association is ready to collaborate with the government to provide affordable housing as our members are willing and ready. Also, I wish to entreat that this council has zero tolerance for shady dealings that will tend our businesses, for which we have labelled and must protect it. I therefore want to use this forum to call on government and the federal, state and local government levels to consider the real estate as a fulcrum to revitalize the economy. Declaring the conference open, the Minister of State, Housing and Urban Development says there is the need for greater involvement of the private sector in the housing provision, while urging estate developers to ensure quality and safe buildings are constructed. For our nation to, de to deliver the necessary quantum of housing units that Nigeria needs at prices they could afford, we must find innovative ways to unlock housing finance while encouraging private sector investment in the housing sector. At the point of keynote speech, Professor Timothy Nubi of the University of Lagos says the government needs to make the issue of land acquisition less challenging, to encourage increased investment in the housing sector and to meet increased need. People acquire about 50 developers along Papala Toro in Ogun State. They acquire land, they paid millions of them. He himself paid almost 150 or 500 million to Ogun State government. The second week after he got his CFO, the land was revoked. After collecting money for CFO, they revoked the land. People almost, people almost lost their lives. Number one challenge is land. You know, by the law of Nigeria, every land is vested in government. So the process of getting land and getting documentation like CFO, you can't even assess funding without CFO. It takes like forever. The problem we are having is getting a land. Perfection of title documents. You will pay for it. You will find it difficult to get it. On the whole, the urgent need for the government to ensure an enabling environment for the estate and housing sector to better serve Nigerians was highlighted. Godfrey Eshemogay, Arise News.